because he started the season like a house on fire. Oh, grabe talaga. Diba? Scoring 30 points. Yeah. Mga ganong uh, game siya eh. Pero well, na, ganun talaga sa NCAA. Once you, you know, na, gandang laro mo, maticheck ka eh. May yeah. scout ka na ibang teams eh. That's right. And even, you know, when he's coming off the bench already, you know, para it makes up ni Coach Louie yung kanyang lineup dito. He still hasn't gotten uh, at least that kind of explosiveness compared to how we start season 99. Kasi, first few games natin, siya talaga, runaway siya number talaga. one scorer natin oh. sa liga. Ngayon, he sits at number seven at almost 14 points per game. So we can uh, safely say na the way uh, si Ajem, the way Ajem and JRU played at the start of the season, yun din yung pagkakaiba oh, going to the second round, end of the first round. So hindi ko coincidence yun. Oo, oh, oh, talagang, uh, well, parang what they always say, di ba? They can, Ajem can take this team wherever yeah. he wants to. That's right. As far as he can. He is their best scorer. Santos, oh, throws it away. Kala niya, pupunta sa kanto. Itong si Kuahaw. And Kuahaw should be in the corner kasi on that angle, mahirapan ipasa ni Santos sa wing. Yeah. So talagang iikot pa niya bago niya pasa sa wing. So Kuahaw should be on, on that corner. That's an error. On Letran. 22-21. Much faster start here for the three-time defending champions. And to see Mosqueda for three. What a... Oh, Santos collects the board. Ito si Pujorcelo. Bautista stops, shoots. Wala. Little too quick on the trigger right there for the first-year player, Dustin Bautista. Okay, let's go first to JRU side. Pahinga natin ang kwento ni Aliana Faustino. Aliana, go ahead. Martin and JV sa labanan ng pangarap puhunan ni skilled big man Joshua Giab ang execution ng small details at decision making. These were the driving forces behind his career high explosion against the Benilde Blazers. Para kay Joshua, that game came down to the abrupt adjustments they made from the Blazers' big lead to the ejection of head coach Luby Gonzalez. Dahil dito, in-acknowledge niya na kailangan nila magsama-sama kasi sila lang din naman ang magtutulungan on and off the court para umangat. Pero alam niyo ba, Martin and JV, malakas man kumain si Joshua ay hindi siya kumakain ng gulay. Pero mahilig siya magluto at paborito niya ang adobo. Make no mistake, his hunger to win, he wears on his sleeve. Kaya abangan natin kung ang gigil na ito ang maging susi sa kanilang panalo. Martin and JV, Different types of hunger. <laughs> Dito kay Joshua Gia. Maraming salamat, Aliana Faustino. But, Kuha niya yung dalawa eh. No? Uh -huh. Hunger sa pagkain, tsaka hunger sa laro eh. Huwag <laughs> lang sa gulay. Hindi uh, lang daw sa gulay ah. Yun yung exception niya. But Joshua Gia is coming off a monster double-double. Wow, oh, solid. Solid 23 performance. 23 and 14. Ito, ginawa niya yun against Benilda. Against Benilda, against Will Gozun. Yeah. So that makes it all the more impressive. Your career performance there on Joshua Giab. In the meantime, JRU is back in front here, 23-22. Hey, imagine Martin, uh, si, si Giab's not really athletic. Uh -huh. He grabbed 14 rebounds and yung, and yung 8 offensive rebound. Yeah. Well, ang ganda talaga yung lalaro dahil ata walang gulay talaga sa pagay. Baka yun yung key para sa kanya. Yung ba yun? <laughs> Para maging magaling kang big man. Oh, Mohara move. That's a nice move coming from Deo Kuahao. All right, the Tran back in front here. Let's go to their side. Here is an update courtesy of Lizelle Nervez. Lizelle. Masama man ang simula namin ngayong season ay sana matapos namin ito ng maayos. Ito ang nakuha kong paya galing sa top scoring rookie ng Letran Knights during their previous game na si Jay Stephen Karupil where he openly told me his thoughts on him stepping up in the absence of their key players. Ang sabi niya sa akin na ang mindset niya palagi ay gawin ang lahat para makuha ang panalo and to keep their heads up to prepare after every game. Manalo o matalo, the Knights always take their time to bond and eat with the team pagkatapos ang kanilang mga laro. Kaya coming into this game, mas ipapakita daw niya kung gaano siya kagutom manalo at mabigyan ng kanyang pamilya ng karangalan sa kanyang laro. Let's see if Stephen can serve as the new hero and can help the Letran Knights snatch a win today. Back to you, Martin and Jamie. Maraming salamat, Lizelle. That's exactly what he did at the start of this game. Nagparamdam agad. Six points for Garupil with three assists already. And again, this is coming from an all-around performance against Sensibastian with 16 points, 
a career high for him. Six rebounds and five assists with two steals. Ito si AJ Miranda. Kumawin naman para sa JRU on your screens right now is the rookie point guard of the trans Stephen Garupil. But now it's Sidney Mosqueda lying down at almost midcourt. Oh, we're gonna see what happened there. Got hit in the midsection. Kasi parang pagkatapos nung hit, parang nawala ng hangin nawala ng itong hangin. si Mosqueda. Oh, umiga agad eh. Okay. So, our referees will review it. By the way, we have three national referees at the helm here. Crew Chief Jeff Ablola. Ooh, okay. So, it was Santos colliding with Mosqueda. We gotta see it from a different uh, angle, though. I think it's just tapaka, eh. colliding lang. That's a perfect term there. Nothing uh, excessive on yeah. Santos. Okay. So, I'm ready to the referees. Natin. Jeff Ablola, Kenny Regino, and Dave Maligaya, officiating crew for this game. Play on. Okay. I think it's the magiging tawag. So, bola lang ng Letran. Nothing escalating, nothing upgraded. Good job, sabi. <laughs> Good job, <Renzi. laughs> Buti nakita niyo yun. Yeah, because it was Kevin Santos just running towards yeah. incidental, well, a slight contact. Nabangga lang. Ito ni Kevin Santos. Si, si nasako Pusqueda. lang ako. Nasako dun sa... Midsection. You and can see that a billion are back on the floor. Uh -huh. First time on First the floor. First time, yeah. Clean up for Kevin Santos right there. Ay, makikita mo yung mga pieces nitong uh, Letran Knights eh, going to the next season. You have a Garupil yeah. playing an aggressive point guard attacking the basket. Yeah, Kevin Santos around the basket getting rebounds, getting dunks also. That's a promising time, oh. ano? Meron ka pang kuahaw na shooter. Ito, muntik ang agaw. Ito, natuluyan yung agaw. Here's Bautista. Garupin. Lopping it up. Santos with a finish. Back-to-back -back hoops for Kevin Santos. So, as sinasabi natin, exactly what we said earlier. Garupin being aggressive, reading the defense of JRU. And Kevin Santos just always ready on, that, uh, on the paint. That is assist number four for Garupin. Oh, Miranda had to adjust again. He's had a couple oh, oh. of that. Uh, relax, relax ito si AJ. Eh. <laughs> when he drives to the basket, kahit may, kahit may tumbalo na, talagang ang half time niya. Oh. At saka yung finish, yung soft touch, mahirap yun eh. Ito, in transition, just stopping, calmly placing it in. And then, the adjustment right here. Sumabay pa! Nagkapi sa ere. Si Kevin Santos, the activity for Letran. And again, Agent Miranda. Very deceiving yung talo ni Agent, eh, no? Oo, uh, oo. Uh, I think, uh, contra, contra sa ano, eh, sa speed, eh. Yeah. Ang depensa niya, eh. Kasi, you wouldn't say is he's a high leaper. Right? Pero oh, yung hang think. time niya, medyo nagagawa niyang paraan para tumagal sa ere. Athletic siya, pero Athletic. sabi mo nga, tama, hindi, hindi siya high leaper. Ah. Ito si AJ, pero he can drive to the basket, explosive siya, may, may hang time siya. Points in the paint, let run in control in that department. JL took it strong to the hoop. Hindi yung mahirap kay JL eh. He knows when to pass, at the same time, he knows when to score. Ang ganda ng basa niya sa, sa depensa. Lagi ito si JL. JL De Los Santos was in scoring mode against De La Salle College of St. Benil, 14 points. Santos with a short stab. Wala. And here comes JRU, a chance to trim the lead. Agem. They will wait though. JL from the top. De Los Santos, the leaner. It's good. Back to back hoops. This time from JL De Los Santos. That was JL. Very mature now, Yandos. Uh, how he used the ball screen there. Kita niya may big man na help side. Pero nag-relax lang siya, nag-hesitate siya, libre-libre on the jump shot. Gusto ko rin yung, oh, yung pagkakalma doon ni JL De Los Santos. At the same time, you know, hitting a shot like that. You'll call that, you know, an off-rhythm jumper. As we take a look at oh, grabe. acrobatic finish. Ito yung sinasabi mo, James. You know, he got the space here and then just chose to take the jump shot. You know, in his early years, 
he wouldn't make that shot. Pero ngayon, mature na siya, naipasok niya. Time out on the floor, we got a one-point game. Rookie point guard, Netong Letran Knights. We've been mentioning his performance against San Sebastian, but this went under the radar, JV, because it was a blowout courtesy of San Sebastian. But that was a career high for Garupil. Solid performance uh, by Garupil Tabaka. Uh, na hindi, hindi masyado na bansin because ang laki ng lamang netong, uh, as we can see here, Garupil with or already with eight points, two out of five, four assists there. Pero tama ka na hindi na masyado napansin kasi malaking lamang ng San Sebastian. Pero yung silver lining, last game para dito sa Letra. Nice. 8 out of 10 free throws. 10 free throws in one game. It, it, it means lang na super aggressive siya back in the basket. That's right. And speaking of ag aggression, that time, hinulo. Itong si JL, but JL de Los Santos getting the better of that sequence. De Los Santos, two straight buckets for JRU. And off for De La Rosa here. Rai, back outside to JL. Nanahuli, Idolo Santos. Yung extension, ito ni Garupin. Oo, oh, pero kita mo din doon yung, yung shimmy. Ah. Ito ni JL, <laughs> tingnan mo dito, nakuha niya yung bola. Shimmy, ah. na-freeze niya doon si Garupin. Hindi naka-recover yung legs eh. That's a vet versus a rook. Right there, and the vet schooling the rook in that sequence. Enabling him to get a foul, 32-31. JRU looking to retake the lead here. Yano Santos, Arenal, short, Arenal gets it back, floats it up, wala pa rin. Ball is tapped out and it ends up with Guajau. Here comes Stephen Garupin, he's got eight points. Approaching double figures. Here in the first half, it's Garupil. Kuahau! Wala. Deo Kuahau still struggling from the field. Only one out of five. It is adding first half. De La Rosa. Pinabantay ni Monge. De Los Santos now. De La Rosa for three. Kabam! Captain Ryan De La Rosa. De La Rosa. Ayun yung ano niya eh. Uh, yun yung uh, forte ito ni, ni Captain Ryan De La Rosa pero medyo masikip pa nga doon yung offense na nilaran itong JRU pero it has been scoring palitan na ng scoring wala masyadong stops huh? De La Rosa by the way that's his first make from the field in four tries pow a billionaire up and in and that's what they need from yeah. their vet yun talaga just be aggressive attack the basket you just have to get to the free throw line and see the ball go in. If there's one guy who can take over for Letran, it's Pau Havillonar, who sees the game differently and on a different level. Medina, though, takes it to the house. 36-34. Ito, si Patalier. Under three minutes remaining, dito sa ating first half. They go to Monhe here. He's got the height advantage. Pero dalawa ang tumatao sa kanya. May libre sa kanto. Kuahaw for three. Kabam! Deo Kuahaw splashing a triple. Narinig ka ata Martin ni Kuahaw. Nandi pa nakakashoot. But that was a nice pass there by Kobe Monhe. Nakita niyo yung, uh, yung double team. Pero naka-evade niyo yun. The same time nakita niyo yung corner. Libre libre si Kuahaw. Limang puntos na para kay Deo Kuahaw. That's his first make from the outside. Pabiko, sinalubong ni Havillionar and it's a turnover. Garupil gets fouled as JRU was trying to prevent a transition play but it was an exchange of baskets, JV, in the last couple of plays. Yeah. 
There's Javier Leonardo with a nice move. And of course, Jonathan Medina. That's his spot to slash. Favorite niya yan. Deo Cuajao mula naman sa kanto. Now, I like the potential of Deo Cuajao as well because he can drive. He's shown the consistency from beyond the arc as well. So, talagang scorer mold itong oh, si scorer Deo Cuajao. Yeah. Three-level scorer. Yung he can lay up, mm -hmm. he can shoot the midis, three-point shots. So, talagang malaking bagay to include si Cuajao on the offense kasi... And kundi siya malilibre, may mga teammates siya na malilibre. Yeah. Ito, James, nire-review nila if this is gonna be a clear path. Advantage foul. They're looking to... Or they're looking if they should upgrade this mm -hmm. to an unsportsmanlike foul. I think a regular foul lang. Oh, regular lang. Going for the ball naman to si, si JL. Itong dalawang to, si Deo Cuajao at saka si Ira Batalier for Letran. Sige, mamaya, tutuloy natin yung usapan. As we go to this timeout, Coach Renzi called for ceasefire. Basketball heroes are made every year, and the NCAA always gives rise to new heroes of the game. In fact, the NCAA has produced its share of basketball legends and modern-day basketball heroes. At ngayong nag-umpisa na ang NCAA Season 99, GMA Sports is honored to feature 10 new heroes na dapat abangan ng lahat ng basketball fans. Una sa listahan ay si Kurt Rayson ng Letran Knights. Kurt is Letran's star combo guard. Double decker. Kita mo naman, Joshua Giyab. Hunger for food. Hunger <laughs> for wins. Kita mo naman, translating to the court. 23 points, 14 rebounds. Monster. Double double in 33 minutes of action. Grabe to see Giyab. A much needed uh, performance. A better we can see here. Five points already. Two out of two. 100% field goal. One rebound in six minutes. Quality minutes, kita nga natin, di siya masyadong, he, he doesn't get to that 33 minutes, mm. pero on last game, gand, ganda na kasing laro niya, so we had to extend ito nga, uh, and he deserved that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Most consistent big guy, dito sa JRU Heavy Bombers. Going back to, you know, the two players I was talking about earlier, ito si Teo Guajao and Ira Batalier, and ever since their transfer, ito si Guajao transferred from Taft, Ira Batalier, I was able to cover him from Another collegiate league as well. Transferred from Espana naman. Yeah. Maganda yung pinakita nila from their previous schools and uh, yeah, previous leagues. So talaga merong conversations in the off-season mm. kung ano yung dadali nila dito sa Letran Knights. And of course, pinag-uusapan din yung pag-transition ng Letran from Paraiso. Oo, oh, oh, bigat yun eh. Oo, oh, oh. bigat yung mga nawala din eh. Na sila na yung susunod na magkikerry uh, ng torch para sa Letran. During their residency, sinasabi mo, uh -huh. mataas ang expectations sa kanila. Yeah. At the same time, syempre, sila yung reigning champion. This but, year, oh. Pero this year naman, they've shown that they can perform here in the NCAA. Yun nga lang. You know, some inconsistencies pa, maybe they'll be able to address that in the next season. Oh, it's always like that with the, you know, good players. Kung paano sila, you know, how to be good to great. Yeah. Yun yung magiging consistent how you're gonna lead this team. Di lang, it's all di lang about scoring. Eh. It's how you lead this team talaga with how you talk, how you, how's, your, how's your body language. Yeah, that's right. And getting at the, adjusted to the play style of the uh, NCAA as well. Got Rupil. I uh, just threw it up. Thought it was fouled. De Los Santos now. JL is on the move. JL off the window. Grabe ito si JL De Los Santos. Keep towing on that cross, crossover niya sa, sa, sa half court. And then finishing that layup. You gotta see that one again. It was rampaging full speed. Masyado malakas para kay Monge. Here's De Los Santos once again. De Los Santos navigating. Gia flips it up and in. Plus the foul. Seven points now for Gia. And a chance to add on to his total. Ito si De Los Santos in control even in full speed, JV. Exactly, Martin. In control ito si JL De Los Santos. <laughs> every time, every possession, kita naman natin dito. Not in a hurry, pero napakabilis and good reads every time. JL De Los Santos 
with a different mentality here in the first half. He's got eight points already. That time, he dished it to Joshua Giab, who has that magic hands. Soft touch around the rim, able to flip it up and in, and he completes the three-point play. And still 100% on the field to see si Giab, three out of three. Yeah. So it's Miranda de los Santos Giab leading the way for JRU right now with 10, 8, and 8. Under a minute remaining, dito po sa ating first half. Ben Garupil, gagawa to Monge, na nagkikipag-positionan dito kay Medina sa poste. That's gonna be a foul on Medina. It's a good matchup, by the way. Medina and Monge. Yeah. Dalawang wing na parang parehas yung built, eh. Mm -hmm. Pero ito, much taller, uh bit taller to see si, si Kobe on and yeah. they really try to feed suppose it to see si Kobe. Here's the trigger to Monhe. 11 to shoot for Letran. Monhe thinking about his move. Ah, Ataki siya. Drop off. A million are na libre. Makilang tapas sa tuma itong Letran. Ang ganda ng reads ni Kobe Monhe. Yeah. Ganyan pa on the double suppose on the drives. And he needs to do that more. Oh, Giab! Striking from long distance. Very efficient. Ito si Kia. And di mo alam kung saan siya i-score. Nasa loob, nasa labas. So you really have to put a body on him. Kia now with 11 in the first half. Here's Garupil. That would have counted for Stephen Garupil, but he couldn't make the shot. JRU with a late surge in the second frame. They're up by five. At halftime, pagbalik po natin, we have a very special feature for you guys, courtesy of Bulahan.